everyone, Achika here, and it's the weekend, so that means it's time for another DCO base showcase here on the channel, and today I got another very special one lined up for you guys. Very special, in fact, because it is the third place winner of Base of Lights Camera Craftion. Smooth entered their base titled Vignette Flicks, which is one of my favorite titles of all time. Not only is it a play on words, uh, but also vignette deals with the whole movie situation. Ah, it's just, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> but yeah, it's a bunch of sound stages, which I thought was really cool. I just thought it was a super creative idea. Um, but yeah, I could, I could talk about it, but why don't we just go check it out? So without further ado, let's check out Smooth's base entitled Vignette Flix. <laughs> All right. I think Smooth's higher up on my teleporter here. I think somewhere. Yep, there it is. Vignette Flix. Ah, it's so cool. <laughs> Even though Netflix is not really the best thing right now, given their, uh, you know, holding out on the writers, but I do love a good title. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a deco theme too. I forgot about that. I'm guys. I think I'm like way into like the regular, like the the original base themes, like right now. Like, oh yes, this is really cool too. I always have a hard time like with the teleporter situation, but like this teleports in perfectly. Look at this! Ah, welcome. Yes, this is awesome. I was really hoping somebody would make like a movie production or like a video rental store or something and Smooth did not disappoint. <laughs> so we have a check-in area here as well as some cinematic shots. Um, all the cameras are lined up perfectly to be the, the shot here, <laughs> which is really cool. So we have a, looks like a reading nook here. This reminds me of like, you know, the beginning where it's like, I'm going to sit down and tell you a story. <laughs> like the amazing story intro or something. And then it looks like we have a draft house here. Oh man, this is so cool. A bat, filming some bats here, maybe a bat documentary. <laughs> If we peek behind the curtain here, we have the makeup area, as well as the craft service tables, which is so cool. I love it so much. <laughs> A Jurassic themed uh, stage here, as well as some more craft service tables. <laughs> This is also a great one. The lamp room. All the different lights for setting the scene. I mean, what would a, a scene be without the perfect lighting? Captures the mise-en-scene. <laughs> Gotham City being filmed here. We have a Gotham City set. Of course, have all the iconic graffiti. And uh, the very Gotham standardy setting as well. <laughs> a little bit messier than most settings. We have a workout, a gym setting. Maybe this is like some Cobra Kai situation going on. <laughs> a crystal cavern setting. Oh, it's so fun. This is so great. I don't know how you got this many movie cameras, man. Unless you just had them from, like, all the way back. <laughs> Looks like we have a winter-themed base here. A Christmas story type situation. This is pretty great. Halloween. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, go check out the the base off announcement video for the next one if you haven't it came out yesterday so I'll link it up above <laughs> I really love the, the use of the fairy lights here too like it's some kind of magic like about to, to engulf this pumpkin or maybe they're shooting out magic that's such a cool effect 
And again, all the different movie posters, you can see them all like lined up around the hallway so that, you know, you can put them up as the scenes get swapped out. We have an Eastern theme here with the cherry blossoms. A mad scientist laboratory next to a medical facility. Which has some storage here to swap out any of the stuff. <laughs> if we're in need. Looks like we have a, a desert theme here. Some Raiders of the Lost Ark situation, maybe. Now this part was my absolute favorite. The scene wall. The scene walls, guys. This is so cool. All the different scenes that could be used for backdrops and of course you have the the toolbox and again all the different banners up top too and you see all these little like uh crates or dollies that are here to like move everything to and from these set setups which is just so cool oh man storage of street lights <laughs> that could be swapped out. More stuff that could be swapped out again as well for the the kid friendly show here. Looks like we have like a carnival or an Alice in Wonderland type situation. <laughs> or Pee Wee's Playhouse almost. <laughs> A cheers, if you will, or a How I Met Your Mother situation, maybe. All the posters on the wall, very cool. <laughs> and again, all the different banners everywhere. Oh, it's so cool. More tables to be switched out for props. Oh, look at all the posters. <laughs> Oh, we have an underwater setting here. <laughs> and we have a garage. <laughs> Looks like they have their work cut out for them, honestly. I just love all the little details, too, of everything. Also, the use of under the stairs is a plus. I love when that happens. <laughs> Ooh, we have an occult one here, too, and I absolutely adore all the Grecian plaques behind. Oh, I love the tiling. It's so great. Maybe, we have, maybe this is like an Elvira situation. <laughs> Not as gothic, though. This is more occulty, so... <laughs> the Muscurin, maybe. And again, all the fire lanes have are overcrowded with items that can be uh, switched back and forth between all the different sets. Cherries. There's some coral for the underwater set. I love it. Ooh, we have a creepy saw type movie being played out. <laughs> and a mechanical beehive. Maybe some Honey, I Shrunk the Kids type situation. <laughs> Disco sci-fi! <laughs> you gotta love it. Do I have a dance? Oh yeah, I definitely have a dance in. Yeah! <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> and this was one of my favorites. I love this so much. We have the late night talk show set up here. The lighting is impeccable for this. Up top, we even have the usher or the security guard seats sitting out here. Have seats for the audience. We have multiple cameras. So you can see, have a, one on the guest, one on the host, another one on the host and the guest, which is just fantastic. We have the announcer podium here for the sidekick. <laughs> Oh man, it's so great. And if you go behind the scenes, we have the spot for the band 
as well as the announcer with the microphone. Oh, it's so good. I love this so much. It's so, so, so good. And then we have the green room back here, too. You can sit down and have a drink before the show. <laughs> oh, man. This, this is really fantastic, Smooth. You did such a great job with this one. <laughs> all the little details throughout and all the settings. All the camera angles, too, were really great. Because if you line up the camera... It actually gives you, like, how I would line up one of my thumbnails. Like, it has, like, a really good, like, golden ratio setting to all the sceneries, too. That's something I took into account when I was judging. I thought, like, there's somewhere it's, like, a point and center. Like, this one's a point and center, right? So it's just very centralized on this. Like, there's no, like, angle. But then, like, you get into, like, some of the other ones, like, uh, specifically upstairs... Like, if you look, it's kind of like this one's a bit off-center to where it's, like, filming this way. So, like, a more of the detail would be over here kind of situation. Specifically, uh, let's see. I think it was, which one was it where it was, like, really off-center? Like, this one, too, is a little bit, like, you know, it's a bit weighted to the side here. So this one would be, like, the left-hand side and you'd get some more books here on the right-hand side. If you're, like, composing it in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I don't know. Those are just some things I was thinking about when I was judging. I thought that was really cool. <laughs> like, I went through and, like, took a couple screenshots. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> and all these camera angles, too, lining up, I just thought was cool. So, yeah, I don't know. Just a little more insight that I thought was something when I was judging. That was that was really neat. So, But, yeah, that is... Vignetflix. So thank you so much again, Smooth, for your amazing entry. And thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, as I mentioned uh, earlier in the video, Base Off is going back on. Dawn of the Dead Curator is happening. So uh, go check it out. I will have it linked at the end of this video if you haven't seen it yet. Make sure you go check it out. It's I'm sure you won't be super surprised by the theming. <laughs> but yeah, it should be a good time. Um... Yeah, nothing else to really report. Oh, Extra Life is still going on, too. Uh, check that out. I'm trying to do, like, a push, because I know Games Day is coming up at the beginning of November. So if there are any fun uh, incentives you guys want over there, go check it out. Um, uh, all of it goes to a good cause, too. So, yeah, I think that's about it. So, again, thank you so much to Smooth, as well as all of the other base off lights, camera, craftsman entries. Uh, I will be getting to your bases in the next coming months. Again, let me know if you're going to deconstruct. I will come on in and film. Um, but all of you did an amazing job. Uh, hopefully, all the prizes have gone out. Uh, I'm hoping to get them. If not, hopefully, they'll be out uh, <laughs> soon. I had a very, like I said, chaotic week, so... My apologies if they, they haven't been delivered yet, but they should be they should be in the mail, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully by now. I really hope so. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. So again, thank you so much to Smooth. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care, everybody.